Yeah, so this is why I do top of the morning. You know, just see what the hell is going on with, with the world. What's going on with my money? Uh it's a lot of lot of uh shit going on in the market. Um I took a lot a lot of profit out of my Robin Hood. I just don't like the way shit been going down with Robin Hood lately. You know, it's a lot of things that they've been scaring me with. But since I'm in a scary money mode, I'm in a position that I have to net profit. Like, I can't afford any risk. I can't be high risk right now. I'm buying a house. You know what I'm saying? So I need hard assets or whatever. Um, I like to make money on the, on the every second of the day. Um, and I like to keep money. It's not how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep. So this is why I be moving real, you know, to some people might not make any sense. Like, you know, why would you take profits? Keep, keep the coin in there, keep money in there. But me, I, I like to take profit, you know, and, you know, take a, a, a little money from, Decide like uh, some some of my money from a paycheck, and then determine my position with that amount of money. Determine my position, and uh, have an exit strategy. I think that's the thing that works for me. Is like not being you know like everybody else, like keeping up with it. I just have my own exit. I mean, my own entry and my own exit. But anyways. I sold some Square stock. I sold some Nike stock. I'm actually thinking about buying some more, some more uh, Nike. Snap was very, uh, very appealing until now. I don't know what's going on. Sign, sign drop. Um, I had a 13% drop in a month. 17 in a week. I don't know what happened recently. But um, usually they say some news here, recent news. Snap stock falls uh, Friday, underperforms the market. Riddick appoints Snap veteran Drew, whatever. I'm bullish on Snapchat. Uh, I'm going to keep my money in there. Uh, I'm bullish on NIL. To be honest, I'm mad I don't have enough to buy more of this stock. I ended up um buying two of them at $60. And now it's half the price. You know, it's going down. Um I wish I could buy more. You know, because I really have good uh faith in this in this stock. There's uh good competitors with uh Tesla and um you know their uh you know energy saving with the climate change control and stuff like that uh it's a good company and um yeah they say it's gonna go up really really uh really high one of these days i'm um, thinking about buying stock and oh hold up my bull um it's a good stock that's why i'm looking it they also news dropped about them working with apple you know, um, it's a Chinese, it's like an Asia Tesla. And right now they're working on being able to operate in America, which is hard as hell. Um, and there's headlines of Neo working with Apple. You know what I'm saying? So with that speculation... You know, with that speculation, with or without Apple partnership, Neo will still be a uh, good buy. With that speculation, I just want to hold on to it. And um, also, you know, net my profit when I can, but I'm losing on that stock. AMC, uh, I cashed out big time. Um, now, for some reason, I just keep this amount in there. If I want, I could take out money. It's, you know, nothing. It's all profit right here. Matter of fact, I'm going to take out some money now. I'm going to take out 
what it's made. Why not? I'm just make take out fifty. No, 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 I'm gonna shave it. I'm gonna take out three fifty. Whoops. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty much a, a stock I'm not really taking too seriously. Um, AMC, uh, because of all the you know all the fertility in there, so it's a lot of you know nonsense that happened with with this stock along with GameStop. So this is one of those um, you know get rich quick stocks that I participated in. And I sold my, um, what I put in and I even sold all the profit and this is the little profit that I get every day and yeah, you know, whatever. Um, and AMC, I feel has good potential. I'm all about the potential of a stock, you know? So it's a lot of like, reverb in this room. So what I plan on doing is buying a whole bunch of uh, AMC while it's low be before it's thirty dollars again. AMC ain't going nowhere, man. Even with the movies, uh, oops. even with the movies, uh, shutting down. Even with the movies shutting down, AMC is a great company. Um, they'll compete with Netflix. Also do something with digital digitalization. I heard talk of Disney buying them, and I'm already at a profit. You know, uh, it's only nine dollars. I buy a whole bunch more of this shit. Um, just keeping my ears to the street. Uh, let's get it. Uh, I keep AT and T. I plan on um using AT and T as dividends. I just need to buy more. Um. Yeah, that's that. My plan is to switch more into dividend stocks. I even plan on using my bit to, my uh, cryptocurrency profits and go using that into dividend stocks. I'm all about risk um, uh, management. Um, I took out, I sold a share in Square and sold some Nike. So I sold pretty much everything to put into here. Risk pro um priority uh, RPAR. This is an ETF that actually invests in gold bonds. Uh, you know, they they are very diverse and um, it's um, sponsored by uh, Ray Diallo. I really like this guy. He's a very practical person. Um, realistic. Hold up. Uh, let's talk ATL like round. Uh, it's inspired um by him. Um, hold up. It's inspired by him. So I feel like that's where I will be putting most of my profit and in my investment because of this market that we're in in March is very a lot of FUD you know and as opposed to losing let's see how much Square lost my favorite stock of all times we dealt with like a crazy dip um, this month let's go about a month instead of losing $42 this month I took a a, squid, a stock in that, and a stock in um, other places. Instead of losing how much in a month, eight dollars. So now we're on to like fifty dollars. Um, I think I sold a uh, share. But you get what I mean. It's uh instead of losing all of that amount, how much I lost in, no, I ain't losing it. I took the profit. I'd rather lose. How much did I lose in a month? One dollar 
rather than all of, you know, you know, then $50 in accumulation with all the other uh, losses that I took. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's my plan. I plan on putting more money into um, RPR just for the times being until myself is situated. I'm in the middle of buying a house. I got a financial struggle that I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? So going to Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase is all right. Nothing exciting here. Ethereum is going up. Um, I missed out on the dip from Algo. Like I was just, I I was being dumb, and I knew I was being dumb. I'm like, I'm dumb for not buying uh, more Algo. Um, uh, when it was at motherfucking ninety nine cents the other day, um, it was at a dollar. I should have bought a bunch of algo. There's, it's not a, a bad buy. You would never, you'll be doing yourself a favor buying algo, you know, because they even pay you daily. You know, they pay, they pay you uh, um, dividends on a daily. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever hesitance you have with buying algo, get rid of it. It doesn't make any sense. Algo is a cryptocurrency and blockchain protocol that aims to be simultaneously scalable, secure, and decentralized. It uses the consensus algorithm called um, proof of stake. Proof of stake is very big, you know, that, uh, rather than proof of work, which is Bitcoin. Oh, uh, shit. No, I don't have... I'm going to have to cancel that. But <clears throat> do yourself a favor and buy some algo. Regardless of where the price is, that's what I plan on doing later on. Um, my BAT token seems to be all right. Bought it at uh, 26 I sold uh, $3 of it um, for whatever reason. Um, probably transferred it somewhere. I don't know. For whatever reason, I'm net in profit. I'm just, it doesn't matter how much, how big or how little. I'm just taking some of my money out, you know, because there's some news that could be that could drop that could wipe out all of the cryptocurrencies for the uh, for the good moment. And at that point, I'm a buy because I'm pro cryptocurrency. I really feel like that is common sense when it comes to futuristic shit, unless you think things don't change. Since the Stone Age, everything's just the same. Like, phones wasn't invented. Internet wasn't invented. Unless you think that's enough inventions, like, we ain't gonna have no, no innovation, then, yeah, you know, uh, you shouldn't be pro-crypto. But crypto is going, is, this, is the future. So, my fear is um, shit crashing and at a point of time in my life where I need to be, uh, I need hard asset. So um, I can't deal with the fertility and shit like that going on right now. Um, I'm going to look into this coin. I'm looking into engine. Um, I forgot the reason, but I'm looking into wax. I'm going to find a way to get wax. And to be honest with you, I forgot the reason. There was a really good reason. I think engine has something to do with artificial intelligence. Um, so my Cody account was, I'm like, yo, I'm going to have to take profit. Because Cody is up at $40, I mean 40 cents right now. And when things get that high, I get real nervous. Um, yesterday, I uh, cashed out. I took my profits um, when it was at 28 cents. I have this rule of thumb of uh, selling at a 25% uh, um, from where the price is, you know, if you're profiting. You know what I'm saying? So... 
if I put a hundred dollars in and it jumps up to twenty five, uh, one hundred twenty five, I'm gonna take twenty five dollars profit. If I put a hundred dollars in and it jumps down, which is what I'm working on doing, and it jumps down to fifteen, no, I want to say eight percent, you know, and it jumps down to eight percent, I want to sell it and wait until I see a new, a new floor, you know, and then buy. Because it might have been a bad time to buy during that time. But Cody, I'm going to take some profit out of because, like I said, I'm all about risk management. So this is pretty much the same exact shit that I um, did yesterday in my other video. I mean, look at Cody for a second. It's at 40 cents. The other day it was at 25 it's just jumping through the roof. And I get nervous when things get that high, you know? So, like, you know, Warren Buffett, Buffett says something like that. Be fair, someone uh, others are greedy. I don't know how many people are up on game with Cody, but, you know, they see it as a, I, I know people see it as a viable, um, uh, useful coin. So, <clears throat> Um, you know, is the volume market dominance? You know what I'm saying? It's a thriving coin, which is why I'm not selling all of my Cody. I'm just protecting my back. You know, because of the market of how everything is right now. I think. You know, once uh, Wall Street sneezes, the world, everything else catches a, clue, uh, a flu or something like that. You know, um, let's see what they're talking about right here. They're saying, uh, okay, sometimes I don't even do my own charts. I just look at the best ideas. Mm -hmm. Like, ultimately, my goal is to um, buy more Cody. I came across the information about Cody, and I realized um, how it kind of interacts with payment systems. And like I said, I'm pro pay payment systems. Anything that has anything to do with payment systems, I'm investing in Anything that has anything to do with uh, uh, artificial intelligence, I'm investing in. Anything that has anything to do with um, cybersecurity, I'm investing in. To me, it just makes sense. Um, I wish I could think of more other investments outside of the digital space. But um, uh, what else I have a plan, I have my eyes on investing in. Real estate, but here's some uh, news here. Good, uh, good morning to all respective investors and traders. After an announcement that Cody uh, make a collaboration with Apple Pay, Cody uh, USDT automatically bullish trend to uh, get into market recently. Cody as good right now. It's still a good price to buy, but I'm just not buying right now. I really think that the market could correct and drop us back at 16. And then that's when I'm going to go ahead and um get my buying on. But let's go ahead and verify his Apple news. Because you best believe Apple's going to be doing something about some payment. um Some payment uh, uh, things. Uh, hold up. My bad for the longer audio. I get the rambling sometimes. Crypto. Why can't I sell crypto? Apple integration and staking 3.0 launch push Cody price to a new high. Apple integration. 
All right, so yeah, it put this news drop pushed uh, Cody up. Um, good coin, however, I'm taking my profit. Um, one of these days, I'm gonna go ahead and buy more of uh, Cody when it, you know, corrects back. But so I'm taking my profit out of it. Uh, what you call? I think I already had that number up, but. Everything changes in the market, uh, in the crypto market. Uh, it's at 30%, 332, 332, 332, 332, 0.82 times 0.25, 83. So I'm gonna take out 83.20. And you already know that's it's not gonna turn out to 83.20 because of all the fees and all the stuff that comes with it. And like I said before, I use XLM to um, uh, transfer Cody because of the speed. There's no other, um, there's no other, not to convert, there's no other um, cryptocurrency that's as fast as uh, XLM and XRP. Uh, I'm talking like within five seconds, you'll have your money. Um, hold up. I just need to find out what is that conversion. And what I do to do that is go to crypto, uh, uh, coin map, the coin map app, type in the amount I plan on taking out. Shay. No, bro. All right, so USD to Cody. And I bet you my atomic is probably going to say I got to sell. I mean, I got to sell a certain amount in order to exchange. It's usually always something. You see that? Always something. All right, well, fuck it. I'm going to find out how much is 25. Um, I'll figure out what to do with my day. I'm off today, so they want me to take out. Far it's looking like they want me to take out a hundred and change, which would eventually probably be be fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. But um, they want me to take out about a hundred and change in order to make that exchange. So, and I just really don't understand like when it comes to crypto i pretty much just jumped in it bro like i just jumped in it and failed so many times and i learned while i was failing um if you guys know any better apps put me on i just use this app because I needed a way to get different cryptocurrencies and living in New York, you know, it's not that easy. Um, all right, sending this, like, yeah, uh, I express, you know, I'm fairly not that uh, bright in the crypto market because I don't understand what, why is these Ethereum fees so damn high. Like, I don't understand it. And why do we support it? Like, it shouldn't be that high. Exchange currently avail unavailable. Let me try to see what's going on in my history. Because sometimes it do. Like, exchange. Five, 
ist dann so. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I mean. Like, it's always something with this app. I don't get it. What? Don't want to send that much. Oh, yeah. Um, two or five. Let's try again. Exchange currently unavailable. Don't get why. Now, if I was to use Bitcoin, it would say I would need a whole lot more Cody, which I don't want to spend that much Cody, man. Um, yeah, logically, it probably... Hold on, let me figure this out. Now it looks like I have to send more XLM in order to make something happen. Um, let's see if that works. It's a little bit more, but whatever. I'm still profiting. Success. It happened. Now let's see how much the um. How much did I transfer? I transferred this amount. see how much did I sell in fiat a hundred and twenty two so that caused me to go against my uh, twenty five dollar uh, profit once it hit over twenty five uh, percent um start taking profit uh this is about 45 percent. this is about 30 percent or something like that that i'm dealing with but it happened and now i'm i managed to transfer to xlm reason why i can't transfer to xlm because it's actually the most fastest way to transfer any type of payments um just have to refresh refresh yeah like i said i'm not too much of a i'm not the greatest fan of adam uh i mean uh, atomic wallet because it took a while for this amount to show i started being nervous so what i did was i um i checked the the hash to see if there was any type of movement and there was some movement and you know uh, documented uh what went down i paid 18 dollars in um the transaction fee because of ether um so i finally transferred that amount which is about like 120 into um fucking xlm now i'm about to send this whole amount into my coinbase uh, see if I can do things more faster. Um, solid. And this is going to pop soon, too. I, like, I'm just staying steady with uh, Stella. You feel me? Um, eventually, when I get my positions together, like the amount of money I plan on investing, I'm going uh, um, you know, I'll probably record how much I'm going to put and and where and i'm definitely gonna buy more stellar that's one of the long game 
uh, peoples. So I went to the Stellar uh, uh, account and I copied the wallet address. Boom. I put the wallet address here. Go ahead and copy that memo. Copy that memo. Boom. Bang. And I want to sell 89. Uh, 03. Hold on, my bad. 89.033. Send it all. My password again. All right, so it successfully sent, and I got my moolah. See how fast that is? I'm just saying, like, go ahead and try and do the same thing with Bitcoin or whatever. Man, I made a transfer with Ethereum. I worked the whole shift and didn't see my money pop up, you know, in uh, my wallet. Like, it's too much. Um, but XLM and XRP... They are the fastest, and I'm seeing what's up with this Cody situation. If you don't think that um, payments systems or any companies that's going into payment systems isn't the shit to invest in, I mean, I don't know what to tell you because, like, even with the Cody coin and how that's just shooting up, that has something to do with payment systems. Um... I did uh I I did a lot of information on it, research on it, not enough to like, uh you know, to explain exactly the storyline of uh the the future of Cody, but um it has it also has a good community, but let me go ahead and take this money out um. Uh, so where's uh these fucking lags be killing me. All right, so boom, I got my 88. Mind you, I sold the joint at 122. So, yeah, I, I got hit with some fees. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and take this out. Uh, well, how much was it? 88.64. Whoops. Eight eight point six four. Now I take profits. You know what I'm saying? I don't hold things in the market. I, I move my money somewhere else. Um you know I like to feel like I'm winning something. You feel me? Uh, Eighty-five dollars I have to deal with. Now I'm about to put this. Uh, sure. Eighty-five, sixty-five. Yeah. So I take my profit, cause. I feel like I don't, I didn't, ha I haven't lost anything, you know, like I just sold. Uh, what they say? I just sold um, Cody uh, yesterday at eighty dollars. I sold Cody today, fortunately, at uh, two um, at one twenty, which ended up being eighty dollars. My entire capital investment capital of my own hard-earned money has been made up already you know what i'm saying it was at a uh, 111 dollars i made that up so now um with the headspace that i have now like knowing that i made my money back i could care less if it goes up and down and i still got 200 dollars left you feel me I'm not gonna say I could care less, but I'm I'm going to buy the dip when it when it falls down. Um but yeah, so I net my profit and uh eventually what I'll do is I'll take some of that money and I would 
secure and um, RPR just until things are situated in my life because I can't deal with the uh, you know the craziness like um, in the near future but like this what's this we in the second quarter no we in the first quarter it's very different everything is different these days so yeah this is me just being protective I know uh, people are like oh Cody why don't you hold on to Cody uh hold on to that shit like I hold on to XRP um but I I still see it as a long game with Cody and uh I'd rather net all of my profit from anything I put into this market so um and yeah, and that's also, uh, of course, depending on your situation. A lot of times people are forget, uh, like, competing or they think that something happened for them. It could happen for them. My philosophy is stick to your lane. Don't pay attention to nothing else. Because that, to me, that's the only way I made it in the uh, market. I, I stick to my own price point and my own exit point. And I profit my money. You know what I'm saying? My own protocols and stuff like that. Um, I don't chase trends, no dodge coins, no none of that. I just still I stick to what makes sense. And, uh, you know, I make sure I take my money out because I was a long holder too. You know what I'm saying? A long holder thinking, oh, well, I got that in my account. Uh um, 500 up, the next RP, um, this up, you know what I'm saying? The next, you know, all that shit went away. But, um, so, and that was included with my hard earned money. So you don't want to, uh, you want to be careful with the, the money you put in and you want to make sure you make that money back. And it's good as a good strategy. Like it helps you strategy. It helps me strategize and make the, right moves according to my goal of getting my prop my uh capital back so um <clears throat> and for those that are saying i'm tripping for uh uh selling cody i i plan on uh, learning more about the staking options that uh, way i could uh own more stake in cody and i also plan on buying more of it anyways um, I'm buying a few cryptos today. I might make a video on it. Um, <clears throat> looking out for some good entry points. And, uh, yeah. I gotta figure out what else to do with my day. I'm tired as hell. I ain't go to sleep at all. And I'm not working today. So, um, I'll probably be doing some research. And go to the gym. Uh, I don't know. I guess enjoy a day off. I've been working seven days a week. That's all I'm doing is hustling, man. Trying to buy a house, trying to get, uh, buy this condo, and it's going to take uh, you know more than a uh, amount that I'm comfortable with um, for the down payment and all that stuff. But I'm considering it as a transfer of assets and not a loss because I plan on utiliz utilizing that condo uh for like airbnb or do something cool like that make that money back but <clears throat> that is 40 minutes of me just talking to this phone uh telling y'all what i'm doing putting y'all all in my business uh look look at that it went up again this thing pays for like my coffee but um yeah, I'm telling y'all all my business. And yeah, I uh, hope it's good content. Hope uh, you guys learned uh, from it. My goal here is to pretty much express how, you know, it's not that complicated uh, for people that hasn't been in crypto yet. Get in the game. It's not that complicated. Just do it. You know, you could sign up for Instagram. You could sign up for Coinbase. You feel me? And a lot of people be worried about their pictures being taken. Come on, bro. Your pictures is taken already. Everybody got your picture. 
you take your own picture with the selfies and stuff and the f- face recognition and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You are not public enemy number one. Nobody's worried about you. Get your ass in the market and make you some money. You know, this is for your future. This is for your family. I got I got big plans with this shit. But anyways, I'll holler. Peace and love. Enjoy your day.